Tell the viewers out there why you put the rock like that. Because I was going off what we had before, because you have a vision. Correct, I have a vision. Yeah, exactly. And so that's what you had before, and so... But maybe we want it to be your vision. I think the people out there want it to be your vision, Jack. But you already had a vision. Captain Jack Sparrow, or whatever your... No, that's, that was, what was his, isn't that his name, Jack, Jack Sparrow? What? Captain Jack Volunteer. Captain Jack Volunteer. I got multitude of names. Like, <laughs> like needle nose pliers. <laughs> like needle nose pliers. <laughs> oh man. But look at this beautiful brick wall in here that's cut perfectly into these boulders. And then you've got our stone staircase. It's almost done. We have two more steps to lead you back up to the patio that will cantilever out over this brick wall. Everything just looks awesome. This is that intake area where our pump and small aqua blocks will sit we've got our peninsula over here and then of course you are go back to the rock that we're probably gonna move because jack said it and so yeah and before at. before this rock right here uh-huh you'll see but this one is actually where you'll be able to sit in waterline is gonna be right here it's a nice sitting rock for recreation pond that we're doing. where is it at a little higher i think oh it's like up to here yeah it's up to my there you go yeah. yep Not quite sure what Jack's doing down there. Waiting for the rock. Hmm. What are you gonna do with that rock? The bottom of the pond. Yeah? At the bottom, huh? Midsection. That's not, the... not quite the bottom and not quite the top. Okay. So when I strapped that rock up earlier, my intent was that was gonna be one of the frames for our stream slash waterfalls. Yeah, just stand right underneath it, Tonto. You know, it's almost like you get in front of a camera, you get even more stupid. Not a beer, it's a La Croix. It's French. Hey, for all of our French speaking and French viewers out there, Jack. Yeah. You know how to say grapefruit in French? Not as good as you. Pamble mousse. Yes. Pamble mousse. Yes. Bonjour. De ajour de pamble mousse. Okay, Jack is gonna screw this rock up. So we're gonna watch yeah. him. Yep. See there. Already started. Here we go. In towards you. He's new here, kids. It doesn't even have to touch that rock. But that's how it was before. We wanted it how it was before. Because we had, we were tied on liner. Now we have all the real estate in the world. Oh, thanks for communicating. That. Start going down. He can hear your comments from here, people, with those things. Hold, go out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good, start coming down. Oh yeah, come down. Mm-hmm, out of way. Hold on, let's get Jack's good side right here. Of course. Jack, Jack, Jack. Now what are you gonna do? You wanna get something propped up? You wanna get this point higher? Now what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that rock? I'm asking you. Why did you, okay, tell the viewers out there why you put the rock like that. And I was going off what we had before, because you have a vision. Correct, I have a vision. Yeah, exactly, and so that's what you had before, and so. But maybe we want it to be your vision. I think the people out there want it to be your vision, Jack. But you already had a vision. Captain Jack Sparrow, or whatever your. No, that's, that was, what was his, isn't that his name, Jack, Jack Sparrow? What? Captain Jack Volunteer. Captain Jack Volunteer. I got multitude of names. Like, like needle nose pliers. <laughs> like needle nose pliers. <laughs> oh man. All right. So anyways, what Jack and I are screwing around here doing is two things. One is we are trying to figure out how we're going to bring that wetland filter waterfall stream area into the pond. The challenge that we were running into was just water level in this pond. I mean, it is literally up to like here on this rock. So this isn't much of a waterfall. It's more just to get above water and to come straight down really making the pond feel enormous just to give you an idea is water level is about four inches above the point on this rock here which goes down i mean that's a good 36 inch rock right there so we're just kind of spatially kind of playing with rocks really going to start building our waterfalls coming in we've got our plumbing line from the existing waterfall that's back up over there the daylight's somewhere back behind the liner there so we have to connect that so we just want to make sure that as we're rocking through we're not cutting that off we have a bunch of rocks staged over there. So these are some of those logistical things that we run into on a project. Had that rock not been there, we probably would have already went ahead and trenched our three inch line, connected it to the existing one that went to the bio falls and then daylighted it somewhere up by our intake bay over there. But somebody decided to put the rock over there. It's the guy behind the camera. That's actually not true at all. Cause I wasn't here when the rock showed up. So it's true, Jack, just take ownership. Okay. That's all, that's all. It was just, my fault. I know. Okay. All right. So Jack's going to go clean the street. Corey and I are going to finish building this waterfalls. It's my job. Yeah, Dan and Luis over here. I think they're waiting on ice cream, but they are doing a fantastic job <laughs> finishing up the edge. Right. We've got this whole back edge of the pond. Jack's gonna continue to fart around with that rock and just see what happens. So we're gonna leave him alone, but look at this beautiful brick wall in here that's cut perfectly into these boulders. And then you've got our stone staircase. It's almost done. We have two more steps to lead you back up to the patio that will cantilever out over this brick wall. Everything just looks awesome. This is that intake area where our pump and small aqua blocks will sit. 
it. We've got our peninsula over here. And then of course you are go back to the rock that we're probably gonna move because Jack said it. And so, yeah. And before, before this rock right here, uh huh. You'll see where you'll be able to sit in. Waterline's gonna be right here. It's a nice sitting rock for recreation pond. Doing. Where is it at? A little higher, I think. Oh, it's like up to here. Yeah. It's up to my there you go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Waterline messed up. There you go. Yeah. Well, just like everything else. Yep. Screwed I know. Up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get back at it. Great little video. It's the only thing we shot today. So congratulations. you guys so it is friday it is the end of almost the end of our work week today louise grabbing some ball gravel dan is doing some prep work we're at the stage where we can clean up some of our stuff jack and chris are working on rocking the back of the pond over here so our goal today is to finish this wall so that we can be ready to dig our wetland filter right where the excavator is standing and once we get all that set up we'll be in good shape for next week and i'm thinking our goal is to finish maybe by Tuesday of next week. So other than that, we got maybe 90% of the pond finished and then we still have the intake bay over here to do as well. So that's kind of where we're at right now, Friday morning. And we'll see where we're at towards the end of the day. Luis is just spraying everybody. So we, uh, yes, it is definitely a Monday. We are working on the intake bay area. You can see our two pump vaults right there. We've got our two inch line that's coming over from our jets. We also have a three inch line. Kind of see it daylighted up over there. That comes from the bio falls. And then we're gonna run another three inch line up to our wetland filter, which is gonna go up in there. So currently we have, let's see, what do we got? One, two, three by how many? Two, three, four, five. So we've got essentially a 16 small block system over here. Um, the idea is you wanna have I believe an edited upon professor can quote me if I'm wrong, but you want one minute's worth of storage based on the volume of your pumps. So that's why we size this thing appropriately. You can see I've got Dan and Jack kind of running through, rocking in the intake bay area. We've got a handful more chunks to set over here, and then we're just going to do some of these granite washes in between. You've got the new guy over there, Gilbert. <laughs> okay, so Gary over there is right behind Luis. So he's kind of rinsing stuff down and they're allowing Mother Nature to help. Right, Luis? Yes, it's always good when the Madre gives us a little ayuda. All right, so we're gonna get going. We're gonna continue rocking this intake bay. Hopefully the rain will stop at some point and, uh, and then we'll just get, get going, man. This will be done today and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get up into there. So tomorrow's our deadline. You think we're gonna do it? We always do it. I know we do. All right, let's go. 